Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Riach, known as the King of Networking, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. So we talk with Nicole Baldino. She's co-founder, CEO of Webinar Ninja, and the co-founder of the $100 MBA. She also helps produce the $100 MBA show podcast. And she's joining us from Sydney, Australia. So, Nicole, what is the $100 MBA? Hey, Tom. Yeah, the $100 MBA originally it's had quite an evolution. It was a course that we originally launched back in 2013. Mm. So we're coming up almost on a decade. And essentially, I launched this with my co-founder, uh, Omar Zenholm. He taught the principles of business, the fundamentals of business. It was a way to get really anyone access to the fundamentals of business um, at a very reasonable price. Well, he had the experience of $100. $100, exactly. <laughs> Not $100,000, um, which I, yeah, which I learned was the price for, uh, you know, an MBA education right. at a university, which right. I don't have. But so the whole point was to make it accessible to mm -hmm. everyone who wanted to start a business, who wanted to get out of maybe their mm -hmm. current job and had been thinking about, you know, a side hustle and transition out. And essentially it was a course uh, that was recorded and accessible online for a hundred dollars. Okay. But within, I would say, a year, a year later, so it was August of 2014, uh, we added the podcast right. as another offering. And the podcast took over. <laughs> the podcast <laughs> has had, you know, very fortunate. We're very, very grateful. Uh, the $100 MBA show podcast is mostly what the $100 MBA is now known for. Mm -hmm. um, as we closed the doors to the course, uh, you know, back in the day. Right. But it's having a, a revamp. The $100 MBA is having a revamp. So I can talk about that. But now the $100 MBA show has been a daily podcast since, since August of 2014. I want to congratulate you because one of the things that attracted me to interviewing you is my personal belief is that my podcast is my MBA. Mm. Because yeah. I've just on this Cafe Network, I've interviewed over 200 people in the Amazing. last two years, and just on Podmatch, 150. And each one of those persons is a business expert from somewhere yeah. in the world. So, what I, ha I have learned so much. And being a podcast host, <laughs> no, it, it, and it's back to your point of, of the MBA. Uh, mm -hmm. Most M traditional MBAs, you go through it, maybe two years, spend $100,000 when you're out. You've met some people, but what you mm -hmm. learned is basically obsolete as you get out the door. And right. what we see, you know, what I see daily interviewing people like yourselves and everybody else, and I'm, I'm guessing the M your $100 MBA show, uh, show is that, uh, you keep it up to date. Yeah, you keep you're it getting re you're getting you're getting like real time, right. real world stories, anecdotes, experiences as they happen. And I think you know, and I have so much respect. I mean, traditionally, Omar and I actually came from a, a teaching background. Our mm -hmm. our first career was you know formal educators and mm -hmm. high school teachers. So I have a lot of respect for you know what you learn in the classroom, what you learn out of a textbook, but. You're right in that with a podcast, you're getting this real time, you know, snapshot of what is going on right now in the world. And that has, yeah, that has tremendous value. No, and what's going on in the world any given minute, not any day, yeah. it's different. Things are happening. So I'm here in Brazil, you're there in Australia, you're, <laughs> you're in tomorrow and I'm in yesterday. Uh, <laughs> That's right. No, and you know, things are happening there to you in Sydney that we will only found, find out maybe in a 12 hours from now. Right, yeah. Uh, and, and, yeah. And, and it is a world that's 24 seven. And for business exactly. persons, it, sometimes it's hard for them to realize that. Because many people, even a business owner, he's mm -hmm. still on nine to five, wherever he is. Right, yeah. So your success has led you, uh, led the show actually, to be wanting the top business podcast in the world, right? Yeah, we've been very fortunate. So when we launched, uh, one of the huge milestones was in December 
of the year of, of 2014, the year we launched, uh, we were awarded a best of iTunes, which was now like a best of Apple podcast. So mm-hmm. Getting that recognition was, you know, incredible um, and validated the idea because we had other podcasts before that we t- tried out mm-hmm. that didn't do so well, but it validated the idea that this is what people wanted. It was a different kind of uh, business show at the time. There was right. no one who was teaching and short format, just much like this, put this podcast, you know, and especially now post the pandemic too, people don't have those long commutes. People are right. looking for those short episodes. Right. Spending an hour is great and they definitely have their place. Uh, but when it came to like teaching a business lesson that mm-hmm. someone needed to apply a principle or how can I use that right away in my business, it needed to be short. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so the, the format, you know, was, was, came out of that 10 to 15 minutes of a practical business lesson, no backstories, no fluff, just a real world, a real just world hardcore lesson. Word, that's it. Go ahead. Just, yeah, go and do this right away. <laughs> uh, and we haven't deviated from that back, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm saying, you know, eight years now, 2000 plus episodes the show continues to, you know, deliver on its promise. I'm just behind the scenes. Credit to Omar, who's on the mic Monday to Friday, delivering, um, you know, one of those lessons. Wow. Uh, it's it's incredible. And of course, our team, you know, our team is, we, we can't do it without them. So, yeah. Well, to that same coin, the other side of the coin, you were also the co-founder and CEO of Webinar Ninja. So again, that's, yes. that, that's education. That's a more structured format, helping uh, persons that I see creators and coaches use that. It's a software yeah. that you offer. Yes. So, I mean, the way it's, it's crazy because the way the webinar, webinar ninja and the, the platform came about to be was we were actually trying to get members into the original hundred dollar MBA community. Mm. So when we launched, we did a big launch plan. We got all those early members, but as you know, it's hard to continue to get new members into, right. into the community to right. continue to sell. So that's when we discovered webinars would be a great way to teach because that's what we like to do to <laughs> teach teachers, you know, right? <laughs> teachers, that's what we do best. So let's not try and, you know, do anything else. It's too crazy. Um, and so webinars came about, uh, in, in, entered, you know, our, our kind of space then and, through that process, Omar had the idea that, you know, maybe we can create our own solution because he was trying to create a webinar every week to mm-hmm. get new members. So then we thought, well, why not? We've got the podcast. Let's also create a software at the same time. Fast forward, you know, the, having a software company, building a software company, building out the team and all of that provides great real world lessons right. for the podcast right. as well, because he's actually, you know, one of those people who is delivering content, teaching people content that comes from daily practice, you know, and, and that's been a huge, uh, hugely valuable to all the, you know, the lessons that we teach, you know, everything now that has, you know, evolved in the world of business, whether it's remote teams, work from home, remote team management, um, we're able to provide, you know, current, current lessons because of what we experience with our software company as well. So they kind of work together. <laughs> no, I can see that. And you're, you're front line with everything. You, right. You have, no, yeah. you, you have the structure, you have an organization and you adapt that organization as you, and as we were just saying, the world changes every four minutes. So mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. not, nothing better than to change with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And exactly. you're not out selling so, apples, but I think you are still focused on education in a number of different formats and that's good. Yeah, I think that's kind of been our sort of bread and butter and way of even selling the software is mm-hmm. to teach first, right. you know, um, and and I, I feel that that's come very organically to us. It's not forced. It's not hyper salesy, hyper markety. It's just look here is, you know, some good content. Here is something we can teach you. Uh, if you like the software, if you want to buy, great. <laughs> if not, it's okay. It's okay with we're in the business of, of teaching and, and delivering value. So yeah, it's been a, an interesting journey. Yeah, it's, it sounds, it sounds like, and it sounds like it's still going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just alluding to the fact that, so we did close. So the evolution of the hundred dollar MBA went from this online course to the podcast, which is still going. 
And recently we've reopened and started teaching uh, like two day boot camps live. Uh-huh, so we've see. just recently, so it's very fresh. <laughs> so I'm still really excited about it um, is that we've just launched the hundred dollar MBA live. Um, and we just had a cohort go through. And that's also really a lot of fun because, you know, teaching live uh, is something we do through webinars, but, right. you know, re- bringing that back to the hundred dollar MBA, it's kind of like coming full circle again. So I think that's a hundred dollars without any inflation. That's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> well, well, Nicole, I, I want to thank you. It's been enjoyable. How can our listeners find you? Oh, well, they can um, find me on what my so favorite social platform is Instagram. So I'm just at Nicole Baldinu. Mm-hmm. But if anyone is interested in checking out the $100 MBA, just head over to 100mba.net. Very good. And also Webinar Ninja is webinarninja.com. <laughs> Calm. That's it. Exactly, Tom. Very good. Well, thanks again for being part. Oh, thank you, Tom. Had a great time. Okay. And for our listeners, it's Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E, and the last name, B-A-L-D-I-N-U. So it's 100mba.net, webinarninja.com. You can also find Nicole on LinkedIn. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at their site, www.focusmi.com. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. (music) 